Hello everyone. In our previous videos, we have seen the different techniques of evolution. We have seen how evolution takes place by natural selection and also by artificial selection. We learned about evolution by stages. In all these techniques, the common pattern that we observed was that the species undergo the structural changes in their bodies in order to adapt to the environment and sometimes these changes were forced by artificial methods. Now we often confuse evolution by progress. When we think of evolution, we think that the new species which is evolving from the previous one is far more better than it. Well, in reality, it is not true. The new species which is evolved from the previous one is not far more better, but it has only adapted in order to survive in the bed environment in a better way. Now, the process which occurred like the natural selection and the genetic drift together led to the formation of a new population which cannot reproduce with the original one. Let's take the example of humans and chimpanzees. It is believed that humans have evolved from chimpanzees, but it is not true. Humans have not evolved from chimpanzees. Rather, they both have evolved from a common ancestor. And that common ancestor was neither a human nor a chimpanzee. So we can say that chimpanzee is more of a cousin than an uncle for us. Both of them have evolved in their separate ways to become the modern day chimpanzee and human beings. So you see that the progress has no role in evolution. The only progress in evolution is that the organism body becomes more and more complex but that doesn't also mean that the old body was ineffective or inefficient. For example, the primitive and the simplest life form called bacteria still survives in very harsh conditions like hot springs and ice of Antarctica. Most of the animals cannot even survive in such conditions. Now let's talk some more about evolution of humans. A lot of different kinds of humans can be found on earth. The diversity is so much that for a long time people talked about human races. This differentiation was on the basis of the skin color. Some were called white, some black and some brown. Now the question arises, does these all different human races tell us that they have evolved differently? Studies show that all the humans have evolved from same ancestors and are a single species. It has been found that the first human, also called as Homo sapiens, have originated in Africa. Our genetic footprints are found back in Africa. Now, some humans stayed there while others moved out into the other continents like Eurasia, Central Asia, America, Australia and other parts of the world. The important thing to note here is that they did not travel in a straight line, which means they did not travel for the sake of traveling. They were not tourists or something else. They have migrated in different parts of the world in order of search of food and shelter like other species do on the planet Earth. So with this, we come to the end of this chapter. In this chapter, we have seen the basics of inheritance. We have also studied why and how evolution takes place and also had a brief look on evolution of humans. We also know now that evolution is generation of diversity and it has nothing to do with the progress of a species.